when an allergen first enters the body, it penetrates the tissue. There it is taken up by antigen-presenting cells, broken down, and its epitopes presented onto its surface. Once the antigen-presenting cell is activated, it migrates into the nearest lymph node where it binds to a T-helper cell through its T-cell receptor. The binding activates the cell and turns it into a T-helper cell type 2. Independently, a B-cell that recognizes the allergen would get activated when the allergen binds onto its B-cell receptor. The B-cell then awaits a cytokine signal from the activated T-helper cell type 2 in the form of interleukin-4. This signal causes the B-cell to produce antibodies of the IgE type that only recognizes the allergen. Once the IgE antibody is produced, it circulates around the body through the blood and binds onto its high affinity receptor, which is found on mast cells in tissue. The binding is very strong, which is one of the reasons why allergy is persistent and lifelong. The second time the allergen enters the body, it immediately binds onto the IgE, which is now found on the surface of mast cells, and causes them to release mediators. One of these mediators is histamine, which causes the five symptoms of allergy, heat, pain, swelling, redness, and itchiness. Another mediator is interleukin-4, which causes other B-cells to produce more IgE antibodies, trapping the sufferer into a vicious cycle.